President Joe Biden made the short trip north to Montgomery County, Maryland, to give an assist to Maryland Democratic gubernatorial candidate Wes Moore. Both the message of the president and more to Maryland Democrats, don't get complacent this fall. Thousands of Democrats backed into Richard Montgomery High School this evening to get a glimpse of the president and to cheer on Wes Moore. He brings energy. We need hope. We need someone young. After multiple well-known Maryland politicians revved up the crowd, Moore stepped on stage. We are going to win this race because we are going to outwork everybody. Moore also told his supporters to stay focused as he goes head-to-head -head with the Republican gubernatorial candidate Dan Cox. Do not underestimate what we're against. Do not underestimate what we are up against. The president then gave the closing remarks. Wes is the real deal. And while one man did interrupt his speech. No, 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 let him go. Let him go. The president resumed quickly to take aim at Cox and his political vision. I respect conservative Republicans. I don't respect these MAGA Republicans. Dan Cox was also supposed to give a campaign speech in Rockville, but his campaign decided to cancel it about two hours beforehand. We were told it was canceled due to scheduling conflicts. From Rockville, Maryland, John Henry W. USA 9. And as John just mentioned, we didn't hear from Dan Cox until after he canceled that event this afternoon, but he did release a statement in part. It reads, I will win this November and vigorously serve the people of Maryland as governor because the failed policies of the Biden administration, which Wes Moore is praising, advancing and will implement are disastrous for Maryland.